Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, share and like if you like what I say and you have become familiar with the kind of things I talk about. I talk about anything. Um, today I wanted to share an experience with you actually um, because I attend this group and um, they've decided to do a bring and share um, to celebrate Eid. Um, Eid is to celebrate a month of fasting. So this is where they eat as much, all the things that they like. So what they've done is it's quite a diverse group. So they've said to you know they've told us all to bring something to share it. So and we must put what we are going to bring on. There's been a flyer made up, and we must write down what we want to bring on this flyer and with your name and stuff like that. So I looked at the flyer because there was about seven or eight things. I didn't want to duplicate what somebody had already decided to bring. And as I looked down the list, I noticed pork pies and sausages. And I'm thinking, that, won't that offend Muslims? In my head, I thought that. I wonder if that will offend Muslims, if, you know, that pork pies and sausages are on the list. You know, I was thinking it might be a bit insensitive. Anyway, that's just me. Maybe I'm looking too much into it. Anyway, I sat there because it bothered me. And um, as I was sitting there, a Muslim lady came in and I said, I noticed on the flyer that someone's bringing pork pies and sausages. How does that make you feel? So she kind of shrugged her shoulders and I said, you know, um, she, she, I said, you know, does it offend you? And she kind of, I think she was a bit reluctant, but she kind of did the body language and the half nod as if to say um, yes, but she didn't say those words. So I said that, you know, Muslims don't eat pork, do they? And she goes, no, we don't. So I said, you know, can you speak to the person who's going to bring it and ask her to bring something else? She said, I don't know how to. She said, I actually created the flyer and I didn't know how to write, please do not bring pork on the flyer. So I thought, okay, so she's accepting it, but doesn't really like the idea of someone bringing pork but she's not going to say about it because she doesn't want to cause any waves so I thought to myself you know I was going to ask one of the um, organizers of the event so I went over to she's a white lady so I went over to her and I said you know something I saw on the flyer that somebody's going to bring pork pies and sausage rolls to an Eid event and she goes oh so what Anyone can bring what they like. It's for any nationality and any culture to bring what they like. I said, but don't you think it's offensive or in insensitive to bring pork? No, nah, no, nah, she says, anybody can bring what they like. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. So I thought, okay. So then um, I, I brought it up with a black lady because I don't like asking one person. I like to get different viewpoints. So I asked this black lady and this black lady said, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a bring and share. Anybody brings what they want. So I said, OK, then left it at that. But anyway, um, today I went to a diversity and inc inclusion training and that was still on my mind. And I thought this might be a good opportunity to bring it up. To see if it is about inclusivity and making people feel as though they belong and understanding diversity and understanding cultures. This is what I'm thinking in my head. So go to the diversity training and, you know, she puts up on the board, you know, something about what does inclusion mean to you or something like that. Anyway, I was talking to one of the people in the group because we've broken up into groups. And I said to her, I said it to her, this is a white lady, and I said it to her, I said, you know, um, we're talking about diversity and inclusion, and I noticed, because she, she actually is in the group, she's also in the group that would be coming to that celebration event, the Eid event, and I said, you know, um, I noticed on that form that somebody's bringing pork pies to an Eid event. What do you think of that? She goes, oh, there's nothing wrong with it, she said, 
you know, anybody can bring what they like. And she got a bit dismissive. She didn't even want to hear what I had to say. So I said, no, no, leave it alone. Forget it. But oh, no, I can't forget it. I need to have an understanding of what it means for somebody to bring pork pies to an Eid event. I wanted to get that understanding. And it seemed like the first Muslim lady I spoke to didn't want to cause any waves. So she wasn't being totally honest with me. So there's a Muslim, one Muslim woman at this training. So I cornered her and I said, excuse me, can I ask you something? And she said, yes. And I said to her, look, um, we're having an Eid share and bring event. And somebody's bringing pork pies and sausages. How would you feel? She says, well, I bring my own food always, just in case when I go to these kind of things. So I said, but is it offensive then or is it insensitive? And she said, no. She said, what we would do or what Muslims would do, they'd probably go, there's always a vegetarian option. They would go for the vegetarian option. She said, it's like if I go to McDonald's. If I go to McDonald's, I just ask them um, to make, if they've used different gloves for um, for the vegetable dishes than they have for anything else. And she says, providing they've used, they haven't mixed the oils or mixed anything, she said, it's fine. You know, I'll eat the vegetarian. So I said, oh, so it, it really doesn't matter that there's pork pies and sausage rolls on the plate or on the table as long as it doesn't contaminate or it's not near your food. So she said, yeah, that's right. I said, oh, I said, because with rusters or with some rusters that I know, they don't want to have anything associated with pork. Pork is contaminating everything. You can't even, if you've been cooking um, beef in an oven, you can't then cook pork in the oven. You can't use the same spoon. You, you know, they won't even go out with women who, who eat pork, some of them. They don't want to be associated with it at all. It can't even be in the house. So I said, because of that, I thought the same applied to the Muslim faith. So I said, thanks for clarifying that with me. But it would just, it, I just had to kind of understand how, if it would affect them, maybe I shouldn't even care. But I just wanted to know if it would affect them, if it was offensive, if it was insensitive, um, and all of those kind of things. And I discovered in the end that they do make their own provisions. They do compromise and um, providing, like I said, it's on a different plate. They have no problem with that. So I thought I'd share that with you because I learned something new today. Okay then. Bye-bye.